Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is the supernatural word for the day. Hallelujah. Today is Thursday, January 13th, 2022. And it is the supernatural word for the day. Brought to you by Pastor Dennis and Pastor Anne Emojong. Hallelujah. Pastor Dennis has given us a word for today. And it is praying for the lost. Glory to God praying for the lost. Amen. Pastor Dennis has given us a theme scripture and it is from Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 30. Amen. It says, And I sowed for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it. Amen. But I found none. Hallelujah. Pastor Dennis goes ahead to say, Intercession is praying on behalf of someone. Amen. When you take up the ministry of intercession, you are siding with God as a laborer in the kingdom. Amen. You are working with him to improve and impact the lives of others. Amen. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 9 and verse 37, The harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. Amen. However, as we know that the spirit world influences the natural, likewise, responding to the gift of salvation is best influenced through prayer. Amen. God needs to labor in prayer for the souls of men. Be that man or woman that is found to stand in the gap to pray for people to come to Christ or praying for fellow Christians and ministers of the gospel to fulfill their call and destinies in the gospel. As children of God, it is your responsibility to push back the forces of darkness in our land. When we pray for everyone and our nation, there are increased activities of righteousness. Hallelujah. The presence of God mantles men's hearts and God's word prevails in their lives. Pastor Dennis concludes to say, The Lord has called all Christians into the ministry of intercession for the lost people of the world. Amen. He is not looking for perfect prayer warriors, no, but willing hearts who want to see his will come to pass on the earth. Pastor Dennis has a question for you. Are you one of the willing hearts? Amen. Turn to the Lord in prayer immediately. Hallelujah. Pastor Dennis has given us a meditation scripture, and it is from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19 to 20. Amen. That is, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world to himself not imputing their trespasses to them and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God were pleading through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Amen. Our man of God has given us a one-year Bible study plan and it is from Genesis chapter 25 and chapter 26. He has also given us Matthew chapter 13 verse 1 to 23. Amen. Brethren, please stand up and raise your holy hands and repeat this prophetic declaration after me. Glory to God. Dear Father, your grace is that brings salvation 
has been made available to all men. Thank you for pouring out your spirit upon all humanity, making it possible for their hearts to receive the glorious gospel of Christ. I pray for as many as will be reached with the gospel today that the light of the gospel will shine in their hearts resulting in their salvation. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Let's meditate on this word by speaking in other tongues. Mandalika shandeleko shandelika ya rekeleko shandelekele ba shandalika sota lika ya ba manta lekele ba shandalika swandelekele ba shandelika ya Father, we thank you for the ministry of reconciliation that you have given unto us, Lord. Manta lekele ba sota lika ya we are ready, my God, to use us, O oh Lord. Lika shande lekele ba sonda lika yaba. We give you all the praise and we give you all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Shalom. Shalom.